I said, he did a he did. But we are in downtown Asheville, Nash Nashville, Nash, not Ash. Like that's where the Predators play. That's the Country Music Hall of Fame. The Ryman is just on the other side of this building, so we're like right in the middle of downtown. But this morning, we're gonna go north and go to a church that had that came on a mission trip to Jordan back in 2010. We tried to run out of gas. Whoops, we stopped and got breakfast and I said, oh, let's hit the road and keep going and get there because I wanted to go to Target or Walmart or something and pick some stuff up. Some Zyrtec. There's Cottonwoods in Tennessee. Anyway, KJ looked down and said, oh, I'm almost out of gas. And we thought, oh, there will be a gas station at the next exit. No. We had to, like, go off the road and use Google to find a gas station. But that's okay. We found one. So now we're getting gas. <clears throat> Never a dull moment when you travel with Sharon and KJ. I'm excited always about getting to go to church and worship with KJ because normally we're so busy doing and we worship too, but it's not quite the same. When you get to go and sit down with your husband and just worship, it's sweet. It's really sweet. And so I'm excited. <laughs> if I can post this because the music in the background but we'll see we are in the food hall assembly yeah assembly food okay. hall or something it's a giant food court but there's some neat like ethnic good food so KJ's trying some dumplings and stuff they have shawarma and like lots of good stuff I'm tempted to try Prince's hot chicken we'll see I think we're gonna eat here a couple times probably Depending, they're talking about having food trucks too, so we're trying new things. So I beat Carla and Tammy and went through the line to greet Linda, who's our outgoing president, and I'm at the table. And they have these boxes here that say, don't peek. It's so tempting. to find my way outside the church and now I just have to walk the block to the hotel and gather up my husband and we're gonna meet Jeannie for supper
So here we are at the Montana Southern Beverage Convention booth. Right there. All the swag to give away. Good morning. And uh, if we if we look around, you'll see just how big the exhibit hall is. And this is always my favorite part. You come and see all kinds of stuff, but there's every seminary, many of the schools, Guidestone, all the entities have things here, conventions. Lots to see. But it wasn't enough for the running. So I was like, I'll take some Zertex too. So that's Jeannie. She missed a plane and then walked six miles to get here to run everything. And I missed dinner. And you missed dinner. Should I open the other bag of candy to get more suckers? Sure. We'll need it eventually. Okay. Kentucky WMU and Montana Southern Baptist Women. <laughs> we are so glad to be here together. We're at SBC right now. So my name is Liz Insignia and this is Sharon Ellington. And we just wanted to reveal um, how much we raised together for the Touch Tomorrow Today Endowment for Montana. Kentucky WMU, you are so awesome. Yes. We raised $25,000 and 90, wait, $25,000. Yes, $25,000. Yes. Yes. We went over the goal by $91.44. Don't tell Chris Tomlin I did this, but this just feels right to me right here, <laughs> seeing what I'm seeing here today. My mask is gone. <laughs> Finally breathe. <laughs> I got permission from the CDC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I should quit while I'm ahead. Otherwise, this will be my last NAM luncheon. The real reason I'm quitting is because I couldn't think of anything that rhymes with Fauci. So we'll come back next year when I finish the song. All right? Come on. Who's glad to be alive and laughing in a crowd full of people? Let's go. So there was some kind of mix up at the NAM luncheon and we didn't get lunch. So I Uber eats some Chick-fil-A and I had to walk kind of kitty corner to a parking lot where the driver could drop it off. And now I'm waiting so that I'm not jaywalking so I can get back across the street so we can eat. It's almost two o'clock, I'm hungry. Let me tell you what I did in the exhibit hall. We were walking around looking at all the exhibits and we go by the Lifeway exhibit and the Kendrick brothers are there taking pictures and meeting people and so we Sharon and I somehow ended up like right in line so like second in line we must have been there right at the beginning and people in front of us took pictures and then he came and he came to me, uh, Alex came to me and said hey I'm Alex and my brain died I said and he's like wonderful We had a great conference uh, ending. They commissioned 64 missionaries, I believe it was. Uh, and that was just amazing. We are back here at the hotel. We decided not to go to the movie tonight just because we're exhausted. And today is day three here in Nashville. Me and the bride are up and ready. Today is the start of the actual SBC meeting. Before has been conferences and little things, but today, president of the convention, J.D. Greer, will call us to order, seat the messengers, and we will conduct business. As far as I know, this is like the largest business meeting uh, there is. 
that follows like that parliamentary. I mean, we're going to have 17,000 messengers there. And this is not your normal FFA or uh, 4-H parliamentary procedure meeting because it's so, uh, so big. So there's different rules. There's different things that, uh, that we follow to get stuff done. However, when the messengers seek God's face, when they seek God's direction, when they seek to do what the Lord wants us to do, uh, it works. Here we are for day one of the convention. We're really early. It is actually 6.58. They open the exhibit hall at 7 for exhibitors to get in and get set up. So that's what we're waiting on, but there's still people here this morning. This is like the mingle space. KJ's visiting about Jordan. Imagine that. We can't do the TV and stuff because Lee, they're using Lee's computer for that and we don't have it, but we got everything else set up to make life easier for Jeannie, but the notebooks that were little like go Montana notebooks with a pen went fast. And what else went fast? There was something else we had. Pens. We don't, we're out of pens. But the gum seems to be a good winner. So several people yesterday were like, Montana has the best swag. So Jeannie did a great job. It's been fun serving in the Montana booth, especially when you tell them you're from Jordan, Montana, and how isolated it is. And people are just shocked. And for us, it's become kind of life now. We're used to it. Somebody asked me yesterday, so do you go to like Miles City once a week and pick stuff up? And I kind of giggled and I was like, uh, maybe once a month. So it made me laugh. But KJ's done a great job. He knows a lot more about Montana than I do. So he's able to talk to him about the differences in the different churches and the different areas of Montana. And somebody asked about the Milk River yesterday, and I was like, oh, I know it's in Montana. He's like, it's up on the High Line. So I was impressed. He might not be able to talk to famous people, but he can talk about Montana. Walking through downtown, over to the convention center again. We have checked out of the hotel. We'll have to walk all the way back to go get our car. We're cutting out, heading back to where the car is parked. There's a Tesla. And, uh, So we're done. We did our time in the booth. We voted, we did all that good stuff. So we're in the car. We left the convention and we're ready to head back to grandma's, back to STEM. So here we go. KJ gotta check his notifications. Hello folks, it is now Thursday morning. We made it back last night at 9.30. It really only took us about eight and a half hours to drive, but there's a time change between Nashville and here in STEM, so it was 9.30 when we got back. Wadi well, mentioned that these canopy covers, whatever, needed to tighten. KJ's trying to help his mama out. <laughs> 